Hi guys, this is Gus69 from Metal Open Mind Brazil. I just got back from California. My trip was awesome, three weeks. I stayed in Berkeley. For those who don't know, uh, it's uh, the other side of the bay, San Francisco Bay Area. But I went to Los Angeles, I went to Sacramento, I did uh, rent a car on the weekend, so uh, I was able to uh, know a little bit of this West Coast. M my first time there, uh, my wife was taking an English car, so I, while she was studying, I enjoyed all the time that I have looking for records. So I'm gonna be showing today all the 40 records, vinyl records that I bought there, while there. I also bought a lot of CDs and cassettes, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be showing those in a different videos, like a three part, this first part on vinyl. So let's get started because it's a lot of stuff. Uh, the first record store that I went was uh, uh, 101 Music. It's a uh, small uh, store, but on the underground, it had, uh, I think, uh, 50,000 records selling because they uh, were closing. So it's uh, most of the records there were like uh, on clearance. So my first uh, buy there in San Francisco uh, on this uh, store, I bought uh, 17 records. So uh, these uh, were all from one dollar bins and uh, I bought two um, 12 inch singles and these were uh, 50 cents each first one was uh, Rainbow it's a single um, sorry uh, Jello, uh, Jello's uh, Lover uh, with uh, another three songs I think it's a four a single, four songs, 12 inch single, two on each side, yes. So Rambo with uh, Jolly Turner, uh, this face, good stuff, I didn't have, and I also bought this uh, single by John Waite. It's called These Times Are Hard For Lovers. So it's from this album. So two 12 inch singles. Now I'm gonna show, uh, I will not talk very much about them because most of these albums are from the 80s. Most of them are hard rock, um, AOR, um, some proggy uh, rock, uh, pop rock, anyway, uh, all good stuff. Most of the, these I, I never own, so for one buck each, I couldn't avoid to get those. So let's start at John Waite. So this is the album from where that single was taken from. Rovers and Return. Um, Survivor. Premonition. I got some Saga. Uh, behavior. Images at Twilight, another saga, Heads or Tails, um, 
my first Wow Wow Japanese bands. This uh, it's called Shock Shock Waves. Balan and the Angel. I, I I knew another album by them. I liked it, uh, but I didn't uh, knew about this one. It's called uh, the greatest story ever told. Lou Graham, ready or not. Georgia satellites or satellites. Uh, I think it's uh, self-titled this one. I didn't know about about this. Um, Night Ranger. Big Life. Roger Glover. Best player. Uh, known very well known bass player who played with uh, Deep Purple of course Mask this is a solo album uh, Who's Ballard AOR at the third stroke Eric Martin solo album uh, it's a promo from a golden stamp right there. Um, I think it's a self-title. Uh, Eric Sing, uh, Eric Martin from Mr. Big, of course. And the last two, Zebra. Uh, no telling lies. Again, uh, promo. And finally, another zebra. Three uh, V or volume three, I think. This one uh, has a uh, um, a hole. It's like a promo. Most of these uh, records are promotional records. So my first buy. I got these 17 uh, records for 16 bucks. Then I went to Amoeba. Um, Amoeba, uh, uh, not in San Francisco, but in Berkeley, where I was, um, I, I rent an apartment there. And um, they had like a, also, a uh, one dollar beans and when you uh, if you buy three uh, of those you get one for free so I, I paid six dollar six dollars for eight records and I'm gonna show Aldo Nova Twitch AOR Uh, Robert Palmer, uh, Riptide, Little Steven. I bought this one because I uh, he was uh, playing live in Berkeley, uh, UC Theater, and I went there to, uh, to buy the tickets to see him live. Uh, but they did not accept my visa. I don't know why. Uh, I I bought all my stuff with a visa, but on the theater, they didn't recognize my visa for some reason. I didn't have the money. I think it was uh, 60 bucks for the ticket, and I wasn't able uh, to to see the show. But I bought this album voice of america it's a solo album if you don't know who is little steven he played he still play i think with bruce uh, springsteen um and he also is an actor uh, i watched him playing uh, uh on sopranos the the series um desmond child 
uh, runners in the night this one has a hole there it's like a promo Desmond Child and Rouge if you don't know who is Desmond Child please google it he's a very well known uh, songwriter uh, 38 special this one is Tour de Force um, Widowmaker uh, Too Late to Cry 70s I think it's from the late 70s this one uh, didn't know much about some of the the bands when I didn't know I, I put on a search on a YouTube listen a little bit if I liked I brought home um, one more John Waite uh, this is a no breaks and finally a ZZ Top after burner so less than a dollar for each one of these in uh, Amoeba Berkeley Berkeley and I also what is ah this one I was like uh, buying a lot of records and I start uh, getting a little worried about the the weight um, and I after these two first uh, buys I start uh, thinking a little bit what to buy like uh, giving preference to uh, newer uh, releases uh, more expensive or of course instead of buying just dollar records so the first one that I a little more expensive that I bought from Amoeba uh, I paid ten dollars for this one um, this I need my glass um, it's called Legend of the Sea Gold Man it's a self-titled debut album by these bands crazy bands um, gatefold great image here and why I bought this because the drummer uh, in this album is Danny Carey from Tool I remember listening to this this is a very recent release let me see if I can I think I, it's like a from two or three years let me get this out uh, no no ear here but I'm pretty sure it's very recent let me check has lyric shit and also a poster um, the same artwork uh, good stuff uh, no dates here I'm sorry uh, I will try to put in here uh, when I confirm it but I, I was really happy to buy this for just 10 bucks it was not sealed it was like a uh, almost uh, new not uh, 
I think was used but very very new okay so this was my first purchase uh, of a, a more recent album then I went to Amoeba San Francisco because I was I needed to buy uh, the prize for Andy and I promised that I would buy something new from Amoeba so I went first I went to Amoeba Berkeley I took uh, photos of albums that he uh, could like and I sent him and then I went to the Amoeba San Francisco big big uh, store you're gonna see some images and there I uh, filmed and took more photos to send to Andy and I bought for me these two albums first one is this Valkyrie this album um, it's a uh, let me see if I can show you it has a lyric sheet and a very awesome ha uh, artwork and this band it's a project by um, a guitar player from Baroness uh, Pete Adams his name uh, first new album in over five years it's from Relapse Records I didn't know I know Baroness but I didn't know about this band so I went uh, it's from 2015 uh, the price was good for my pocket I paid $10 also for this uh, and I also bought this one Cobra and the Lotus Lotus Prevail this is the latest uh, album by this band, Cobra and the Lotus, female fronted um, heavy metal band. Uh, it's from 2017. Uh, it says that it's strict, strictly limit edition and it's sealed. Sealed. I didn't open it yet. And I paid only $13 for this one. It's a gatefold. I think I, I will open. Let me see. Ah, I forgot. Okay. This is the blonde singer. Very cool stuff. And the album. It's very heavy. It might be 108 grams. Custom labels. Cool stuff. For that price, I couldn't avoid picking. So, and I sent all the the photos to Andy, and Andy was, of course, as always, a gentleman. He told me that most of those uh, bands he didn't know but uh, uh, I think three 
and then from this uh, the second store other two that he would uh, wouldn't mind to have in, in his collection but he wanna be surprised uh, when receiving I, he didn't want to know I went back there and bought um, an album for him uh, which is this one so Andy you're gonna get this I'm not showing <laughs> but I'm pretty sure as a trash metal fan you enjoyed this very much um, just so after buying these records I end up finding this one corn follow the leader in a urban outfitters store it's a if you don't know they are a, 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 like a fashion a modern fashion store they sell clothes but they also sell other kind of stuff uh, and also vinyl and this was on sale there i'm gonna show up. the price was 32 because this is a special edition double edition and i opened it was uh, sealed i opened and it's a uh, this color the vinyl both vinyl are like a gold and uh, so it says urban outfitters limited limited gold vinyl 20th anniversary 2 lp edition uh, and i saw this price 14 uh, 99 15 dollars and i th i thought it's a good price for uh, a double album my wife was shopping clothes so i i'm gonna take this and after paying i i thought uh, uh, the price was uh, lower than i was expecting and it, when i saw the the receipt I paid only seven dollars, so it was half of the price of the promotion. So seven dollars for this uh, great, great, great buy. Um, what else? Another great buy uh, that was um, uh, on the the street i was uh, my apart where my apartment was university uh, avenue uh, it has i always walked that avenue to get the bart the train to san francisco and uh, there was a typewriter and clark service store and i saw by the window that they had vinyl <laughs> why i don't know but they had vinyl and i went there and i saw uh it was not like very cheap but i ended up buying two albums at three dollar each a trillion um uh, this is uh i didn't know about this band i i i think i saw scott scott waters showing this so i put on a search on youtube listen to it a bit and i liked it uh it's like from the uh, late 70s band rock uh like uh reminds a little bit uh, like rush triumph that kind of rock 
but with uh, keyboards, good stuff. And I also bought this one, April Wine, harder, faster. So both very good condition, three dollar each. Uh, what else? This was uh, there was a shop in Berkeley called Half Priced Books. Uh, first time I went there, uh, they had a lot of vinyl, new, brand new, and also used, like all mixed up. And I saw that on the bottom of the shelf they had like a five, uh, 400 uh, clearance uh, records, and I found two uh sealed records the first one is this the winery winery dogs hot streak i have these on cd but i couldn't avoid it's sealed um, this is a gatefold i didn't did not open yet i will uh, but as you can see i paid only three dollars um let's open this i i couldn't uh, believe that i find this for so cheap uh of course this band has uh billy sheehan on bass um mark portnoy on drums this is the hype sticker. I will keep this and uh, Hitchcockson on guitar and vocals. Uh, I like to keep these uh, stickers when I remove the okay. So nice. I put this here. Okay. So now the hot sticker is here, and as you can see, gate fold with lyrics. Great stuff. Winery dogs, and the other one. Uh, sealed I couldn't believe was this one 6 a.m. Nick six uh, bands also three bucks I will open this it's not a gatefold I might I might keep the shrink Just take this out so you can see. Cool stuff. Um, couldn't believe so cheap, and so I might I bought this too. And I also bought used Asia. Uh, it's a self-title. Yeah. I need to to clean this these records. Uh, and also this one, prize. Country. I didn't know about this band. It's a uh, uh, also gatefold. I'm gonna show here. I don't know much about this band, 
but I listened to it on um, on the YouTube and uh, it's like a hardcore band but not uh, that uh, like a fast uh, paced uh, hard rock, hardcore but uh, very intense and uh, the, uh, a sound that builds up it reminds me a little bit uh, Enhi Hollings band uh, uh, yeah Hollings band from uh, the singer Enhi Hollings that kind of punk hardcore band I liked it never heard about them but for three bucks I tried to pick this too uh, finally my last purchase purchased uh, was um, in a store nearby Amoeba in Berkeley it's called Hasputin music I bought a, a lot of tapes there I'll be showing in an uh, in other in a different video but uh, this was my latest uh, purchase there uh, on uh, on this trip and I bought five vinyl all used except yeah four used and one new uh, double album new uh, sealed but you're gonna see very good deal so I bought this uh, 38, X special, uh, 38 special special forces this one I paid only one buck one dollar uh, bad company I didn't have this one gatefold um, desolation angels I paid two dollars for this one um, amazing album from UFO lights out I had this one back in the day I finally uh, was able to buy it again this one I paid four dollars great stuff uh, I buy I bought this one also uh, if I'm not mistaken this is the debut album by FM the UK bands hard rock AOR bands love this stuff indiscreet is the title of this one and I paid six dollars great stuff and finally this was on sale sacred oath it's a heavy metal band uh, and this is a best of double album on the shrink and I paid believe it or not two dollars one nine five so it's uh, on seal but I'm gonna it's peeling off here uh, it has somewhere here but otherwise it's a brand new album double album and uh, music is good so I'm opening the string so you can see uh, They remind me a little bit of Queen's Reich. Have metal band, good stuff. Sacred Oath. Couldn't pass this for two bucks only. So that's it. 40, 40 albums that I bought. I'll, I'll uh, use most of them used. Uh, a few were on the shrink I opened 
so you can see so these were new uh, the car new one was new sealed two three this one was new four and this one five two three so I bought for me five albums on a sealed 35 albums used good condition I, I didn't show everyone uh, every uh, the, the because I need to clean uh, they were okay that's why uh, because sometimes one dollar uh, records are all uh, scratched and uh, very dirty but this one was okay they were not zero clean but they were um, good so that's why I bought them and finally uh, this one I bought for uh, Andy I'll be sending this week for him so uh, that was my my f the first part first of the three parts I'm gonna be doing this one just vinyl that I bought on uh, San Francisco so thanks for watching and look for uh, my next videos on uh, in a couple days I'll be doing uh, the CD uh, haul and uh, I think was um, yeah I bought 34 CDs uh, I'll be doing a video just to show these CDs and then I bought 44 cassettes uh, I didn't have any cassettes and now I have 44 <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna be doing a separate video for those and uh, if you wanna guess how much I spent to buy this 41 40 for me one for Andy the the most expensive of course is the price that I promised uh, to Andy but uh, if you wanna guess how much I paid for 41 uh, records you can leave in the comment section and I will say if you are hot or cold warm <laughs> or cold uh, in the comments okay so see you soon